Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, it's Tama. I'm going to come back for Tama. Heading it up. Heading it up. Hello. What was that last video? Not here. Winchester? Yes. We're not, not in here. Winchester anymore. <laughs> Wait, no, we're not in Winchester anymore. Tell them where we are. We're in Cardiff, in <clears throat> Wales. We left England entirely. It's we're in a Wales. Of, bit of a trip to get here, but let's not talk about that day. That day was. It was interesting though. We we as much as we've been like blah 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 flood warnings, we finally actually had to deal with the consequences of that. Yeah. We better quickly tell them. The, the the flooding basically meant that the signals weren't working on the train tracks, which means we had to change trains about. 12 times, not really, I don't know, like three times, and and there was all these delays, especially if you're going to Scotland, in which case you had to wait about two hours extra. Yeah, we would not want to have been going to Glasgow on the train that one day. But that being said, I don't think anyone really wants to go to Glasgow on the train, that sounds like a really long trip. Yeah. From like, what was it? Bristol? Somewhere at the bottom, yeah, Bristol, somewhere at the bottom of England, it wasn't, Yeah. didn't sound very pleasant. But anyway, we got here, and we wandered around. Oh, we did the Doctor Who thing. Yes. We didn't do a Doctor Who video. Our no. place is really nice we can too. Pretend where we're staying. To do a, we can pretend to do a Doctor Who video because we're going back there today. We'll do a Doctor Who video. We've done one. We'll upload it. We'll, we've some, uploaded it. Sometime. You've seen it already. Woo! Anyway, now we're in now we're in Cardiff Castle. Yes, but after the after the Doctor Who, we went shopping yesterday. We did go shopping. We wandered around Cardiff. <laughs> yes, and you bought boots. I bought boots. And I bought pants that fit me. They're your boots. Those, I don't know. Those, Those are your are boots. My boots. They fit you and my pants fit me now, so yeah. we're, we're, we're winning. We're all good. Shopping in Cardiff. And today... Today we're in Cardiff Castle. There we go, look. Oh, Thomas' big head is in the way. Thomas' big head is in the way. We're in the grounds now. We just did a guided tour around the inside. And some... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no, it's that way. Yep. Well, wait, no, behind that, 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 we haven't been in... There yet. We're gonna go in there soon. A the, uh, keep somebody built, but we'll yes. tell you about it later because we don't know yet. Um, but that's the the living area castle bit. Yes. And it was. Uh, we just had a tour, and the dude told us all the information. I was like, I'll remember that for the video. Something about the map with the butte. Who wasn't the first one? He was fir the first John. Maybe it was not. Doesn't matter. Know, Second it doesn't even it was matter. Like the third one. He was in about the late 1800s. Dude went crazy and mad. A whole bunch of very, very. He was like one together. of the richest people. Yeah. And Burgundy and gold rooms. Because everything was kind of dark and heavy. It was very, very good. It was interesting. Everything was themed. And he had like the the what was the first room? A uh, passage of time room and a whole bunch of. It was yeah, cool. The cocktail, it was very, very cool. Behind that tree, which is super inconvenient, but it's up there. Um. Which is a clock tower. It's got an awesome clock face on it. And, uh, yeah, it was super yeah. cool. In there, there's, so the whole ceiling and all the walls are about like the days of the week and the, the months and the zodiac and all that stuff. So yeah. it's pretty cool. The rest of them are like, um, it's got an Arab, Arab room. I don't know. I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Arab. Um, where we it's just... An Arab room. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so we... <laughs> Arab room, uh, which we just left, which is uh, yeah, no, it's all he has themed a based on garden, which is like no in garden Assassin's in it, Creed. but it was on the roof. Yay! Yay! Um, <clears throat> yes. Anyway, yeah, so it was really cool. Did a guy talk? Cool. And we've got little the, the dude had the coolest name. His name was Ridian. <laughs> it was yes. like Reese, but instead of the S at the end, it was Dian. It's the coolest. I'm using it somewhere. I don't care. I'm gonna make it. But I'm gonna write a Welsh character so I can use the name. Excellent. And he was nice, he was very informative. Do you have the camera? Oh, okay. Oh. Hi. Yes. So this is Infant Lisa because that's what the camera says every time because she's wearing her beanie because she looks like an infant. She's like, oh, and the camera's like, oh, are you taking photos of your infant? I'm like, yes. But yes, that's the castle. We would show you the inside, but now we're outside and we don't really want to go back in. It's there's this one room in there that's all very Victorian because it's all like plain, with, like the cream and like the that kind of greeny it's the color. Wife's room. It was the wife's room because she was like, "Dude, stop! Enough with the decorations." She was up with the times. She was like, "Dude," in like the 1400s, 1800s. 1800s. And so yes, she would have said 1400s. One of the rooms or the staircase thing or something. 1400s. 
<laughs> yes. Anyway, um, yes, she was from the 1800s and she was all like, dude, enough. Because it was just too much. Give so that my, was a nice, that was a nice light break. Green walls, yo. That was a nice break from all the, They were, they were beautiful and they were intricate and they were nice. But like I said, there was lots of heavy kind of burgundies and golds. And just a lot of stuff to look at. It was kind of overwhelming. The hallways yeah. are quite, quite tight. And yeah. There's, there's just walls already kind of closing in on you by themselves. But it was very, very good. Cool. So yes. Very it was. No, it was awesome. I was excited. And it's, it's super, it's super cool castle. You can't really see. But look how spiky and pointy it is. It's cool. Uh, don't be windy, Cardiff, because you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. Um... Yes, and there's there's that's this the staircase similar to one that's one that up. we went up. Well, there you go. It's exactly the one we went up. Right there, right there. That's much better idea. I don't know what I was pointing at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the screen, not even really. Yeah. So and yes, over here is the keep thing, which I imagine is some sort of actual important thing, like like some sort of medieval fort. It's got the Welsh Get flag Get out of the way, it. head. <laughs> and then. And then apparently underneath, which we haven't gone to see yet, but apparently underneath they have um, like tunnels and things that they used as like bomb shelters during the Second World War. So that's kind of cool to learn. So we're gonna go check that out and 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 do the gift shop. Probably not buy anything, but maybe get some lunch. Yeah. So um, what else did you want to talk about? Then? Not really. Yeah, this is kind of pretty much pretty much our last day in Cardiff. We haven't yeah. had that many days. This, I mean, I want to say there's not a lot to do. There is, I guess, but we're kind of, we're not, we're, we're kind of trying to, we're done with the touristy stuff most of it. So we're just kind of doing the castle. <coughs> we don't. pretty cool. Where are we going next? We might as well put the Doctor Who stuff in here. We've got okay. some photos on the outside. We're not going to make that video. Okay. Well, then you talk about Doctor Who. Oh my God, what happened? Oh my God. Okay. So camera. And I have to do this so the microphone can hear No, no, no. Went <laughs> out. Alright, because otherwise you're blocking the microphone, just so the wind doesn't get it. I don't know if the wind's going to get it. If I do it from there, I look like I'm three. Anyway. Huh? What? You do? I know, you look like an infant. That's why the camera keeps saying you're an infant. Um, just briefly, yeah, they, uh, they have a, the Doctor Who experience here, which is really cool. We're going to have to probably get away from the wind entirely. Let's go over this one. Where's the, Where's the wind coming there? from? What? There are cannons over there. We're going to go towards the cannon things. That looks scary. Uh, like a scary infant Doctor Who experience. It's really cool. Um, yes. Obviously, you have a, a shop and stuff there too, but they've got a lot of the uh, props and things from the show, yes. which is really cool. And they've got like a little museum thing on the inside with um, all the costumes and stuff. Some of them have been recreated, but a lot of them are originals. Yeah, right. Um, and they've got a lot of the original props and things in there as well. We've got a lot of photos from that. Oh, it's windy. block it you have to get out of the wind which way is it coming from I don't know. Um, yeah but to get into the actual museum museum -y bit from the entrance um, you go through this half hour like e experience thing it's fun. which is cool you see like a little intro video and then it opens up into um, anyone who watches the show you've got the cracks that keep coming up through uh, Eleven's storyline you go through one of those cracks is this away from the wind yes sort of yes um, you go through one of those cracks to get into... Uh, what do you go first? I don't know. You end up going through the TARDIS and you go through... Which appears somewhere. And you've got each room you kind of enter in. They've got um, videos from the 11th Doctor. Like him kind of telling you to... It's you know, obviously like specially made ones. for that. Yeah. yeah, so it's an interactive kind of guided tour thing. Um, the thing at the start... You missed the thing at the start. The thing at the start was like... You're on like <coughs> Starship UK for those people. Yeah, you are. That was awesome. Yes, tell them about that. I'm just reminding you. You are, and you've got the, what was that chick, um, the, the thing, the welcome kind of thing, the one that talks to you. That's what I was trying to talk about. Yeah. I don't know what her name was. What, she was, she it was, it, I, I don't know, it was a cool, like, it's like, they have the, like, the interactive kind of robot well, thing. Like the interface things yes. that you get yeah. in those, um, sci-fi kind of shows and stuff. It was super well talks done. At you. Yeah, like the, it looks really cool, it looked yeah. like the whole yeah. face, it was like this robot thing that was yeah. talking at you. Yeah, cool. and she's giving you this kind of... They had a few props set up around there, so she told you about them and stuff. And then she gets interrupted by the Doctor, who's trapped in the Pandorica 2, which is very much like the Pandorica 1, which he complains about, because um, they weren't very creative. And and then Our he... screen is going very dark. We can see nothing. Yep. 
Um, and then he he makes the TARDIS no. appear, and then you go through the TARDIS and you have to fly it with a bunch of children, and then press buttons. Lisa flew with a bunch of children. I did fly with a bunch. Well, there wasn't enough children to go around on all the dials, and I pushed a button, and then there was smoke, and the TARDIS crashed. Um, <laughs> And we crash landed on like a Dalek ship or something. She did it. And then the Daleks tried to take over um, the humans because they scanned us and they were like, we're taking over. And then there's this whole like, it looks like you're on a spaceship and you're looking outside the window and there's planets and stuff around. Like it looks all 3D. And then another Dalek ship comes and then they end up shooting each other and you get away. <laughs> um, and yeah, essentially you rescue the doctor and then you put 3D glasses on and you got this whole like. You missed the Weeping Angels bit. The Weeping Angels. Yeah, you have to go through this forest thing with all the Weeping He's Angels like, coming oh, at you. The we lights crash flicker. in a forest and we were like, ah, oh, the forest. And then the Weeping Angels try to eat you in your face. I don't like the angels. Yeah. No, angels but it was really cool. Me. It was really well done. It takes about half an hour to get through it. And that's yeah, how you get into awesome. the museum thing with all the props and the costumes. It was pretty awesome. Um, so it has like kind of a few of the old TARDISes. It's got Tenant's TARDIS and it's got, um, I don't know, the, like the first one, the fifth one and stuff like that. I don't know. Old, like, like anytime they change ones. the interface, the, the, the middle bit, they... And they've got all the like old sonic screwdrivers and Eleven's old like cane thing. And they have all... Sonic cane. They have, they have Captain Jack's costume. They do. And like... Jack. And it was all standing very sassily and I was... It was. Excited. It was a sassy costume. It was a sassy costume. <laughs> Sass machine. We're on 1127. Um, yeah. Oh anyway, so we did that. That was really cool. That was, it was like our it was first super day fun. here. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And now, and now we're staying at a really awesome hostel that's on the river and yeah. looking out at the stadium, which is cool. Um, but yeah. Millennium Stadium. Millennium. Because it's true. I think it's Millennium Stadium. Okay. Well, we that's go. that's about Cardiff. That's about Cardiff. So we'll video. Probably from back in England soon. <laughs> we're gonna do a Swansea maybe, video. Don't worry. Maybe. Bye. Bye.